Hello guys! Welcome to another video tutorial in engineering drawing. And today, we will talk about polar coordinates. But before that, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe. Let's go! Right now, we will talk about polar coordinates. Polar coordinates is one of the best known methods used in drawing in AutoCAD. In our previous videos, we discuss about the differences of our absolute and our relative coordinates in plotting points in our AutoCAD. When we say polar coordinates, we are dealing with degrees or angles in plotting points or drawing lines in our AutoCAD. When we say polar coordinates, of course, we will be using our X and Y axis starting from zero degrees going counterclockwise to 90 degrees and going to 180 degrees and then continuously going to 270 degrees and back to zero or 360 degrees. Say, for example, we want to draw a rectangle. Let's say we start at the origin, 0, comma, 0. So you will command line and then hit enter and then write 0, comma, 0 for our starting point. And say, for example, from our origin or our starting point, we want 50 units going to the right. From there, our command will be at 50 less than 0. It is less than because it is the symbol for angle. And then you press enter. Our line from our origin or starting point will go to the right since we use 0 degrees. Then let's continue. Say we need 40 units going up. The command will be at 40 less than 90. And your line will be going up. 40 units going up. And then again, say for example, we want 50 units. Now, we are going to the left. The command will be at 50 less than 180. And your line will go to the left. And lastly, say for example, we need again 40 units going down. The command will be at 40 less than 270 going down. Now let us try to draw this rectangle in our AutoCAD by using our polar coordinates method. So I have here a sample rectangle that we will draw. I wrote all the commands in each side that we will follow and also our starting point which is 0, 0. 
or the origin. Meaning from our starting point, we want 50 units going to the right. And from here, going up, we need 40 millimeters or 40 units. And then from here, this side, we have 50 units. And then lastly, we have 40 units for this side. Let's try. First, you need to have your command, of course. You can click here, line, or you can just type in here, L, or type in line, and then enter. Now, AutoCAD will ask you about your first point or starting point. From our given here, we use 0, 0 for the origin as our first point. And then enter. As you can see, we have our line, but our line don't know where to go. With our example here, we have at 50 less than 0. So all you need to do is to type in the command in our command bar. So at 50 less than 0. We use the less than sign or symbol to represent angle. And then you hit enter. As you can see from our origin, we already have a line going to the right. Let's check the measurement if it's correct. From our starting point, going to the end of our first line, that is 50 millimeters. Let's continue. Again, we have line. Now, going up, we have at 40 less than 90 degrees going up and then enter. And then let's continue. At 50 less than 180 enter and then lastly we have at 40 less than 270 and then you hit enter and now as you can see our rectangle is done all you have to do is to press escape to finish our line and there you go, we have our rectangle using polar coordinates. Let's check the dimensions or the sides of our rectangle. From our origin or starting point, going to this corner, that will be 50 millimeters or units. And then from here, going up to that corner is equal to 40 units. Now from this corner to the other corner, we have 50 millimeters or units. And lastly, with this side to our starting point, we have 40 units or measurement. And that is how we use the polar coordinates in drawing in AutoCAD. We will have more exercises for this topic with the next of our videos. Now, if you enjoyed and learned something with our video for today, please don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you in our next tutorial videos. Bye!